Hey guys, this is Brian Jones from Valhalla Academy in Frankfort, Kentucky. And this is part of our drill series. This is the Standing Opponent Drill Part 2. If you haven't seen our Standing Opponent Drill Part 1, I suggest you click, click on the link above and watch that one first. This is an extension of some of the drills and an incorporation of a couple of new uh, techniques into this particular uh, drill. Okay, so we're going to start out the same way. I'm going to take a back fall, we're going to move around, I'm going to try to keep my hands and feet facing my opponent, uh, but then I'm going to explain a couple of other things that we can do during this drill. So I take a fall, my opponent begins to circle, okay, and again I'm keeping my hands and feet uh, in front of him so he doesn't get behind me. So from here, if he comes forward, I can do our knee tuck rock, okay, to block the hips. Again, I'm, I'm keeping the distance here, so if he were to try to touch my forehead, I could use my, my feet to keep him at distance. If we were going to go into the guard game from here in a non really self defense situation, I could start playing my guard, okay? If he steps back once, then I'm up to here, okay? Now, what I want to add to this drill is our seated shrimp drill. So we have a couple ways to maintain this distance. So I don't want him to get really close to me. If I do, I can always rock back. But I can also, if he steps forward a little bit, do our seated shrimp drill. If you don't know the seated shrimp drill, click on the link above. So he starts to circle around. He's moving. Okay. He steps into me just a little bit, I can move back. If he comes in a little bit too fast, I'll go to my back. He steps out, okay, he takes another step back a little bit. So this is going to give me space to get up. Now from here, the next piece that I want to add is we're going to test our balance once we stand in base. So whenever I get up, he's going to charge me into a tie-up position. If I'm off balance, I'm going to know because I'm going to fall down, okay, because he's going to make some contact with me. Okay, so you can do that in various degrees of intensity. You can actually use a blocking pad if you wanted to and, and have the person hit you. Um, but we're just going to go into the tie-up. So we're going to do the whole drill again, and uh, we're going to finish with that. So. Brian Jones from Valhalla Academy in Frankfort, Kentucky. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. Train hard, train smart, and train often. Thanks.